Uh, hi guys, it's Bunty in T4K and today is another verse team tutorial and pardon all the uh, um, snow, just get rid of that. Okay, sorry about that. So, um, this contraption is quite a new one. I've been trying to build it for ages off by memory but I couldn't so I had to use this video that I got, I've got on my, um, on, my I on, on an app I've got, on my iPod. And this is a combination lock using levers. Uh, I did the dispenser lock uh, some time ago and I, I did the answer lock the other day but this one is a new one so this one uh, uses a gate something called a gate let me show you that this uses something called a gate which uh, checks this to make sure all the signals are right so at the moment I haven't got any of my levers down in their correct positions but if I was to put them all the way all the ones down that are right which is is a very sim e easy and simple combination. The door will open. However, if I was to put this one and this one down, the door will not open. No matter what I want to do. But as soon as I put these ones back up, there you go, it works again. So literally, what happens is <coughs> because these all these are off, this one turns on. Turning this one off, very complicated now. Turn this one on, turning this one off. And when you use the checker, it turns this one off, turn, that means that turning both these off, turning this one on to power the current to, to open the door. Now, if you can understand that, then you're a genius. Uh, <laughs> um, and literally, you can hide all this, by the way. So I'll just show you how to build one now quickly. So basically, you're going to want to build your way your door is first, which is obviously obvious because you want to build your wall after that. So put your door down and have that at least that, that amount of high block above it. And then don't put your thing that your button next to the door, otherwise it's just gonna open straight away. Put it about a block away from the door. You can put it on the on the floor, you can put it on here. But that doesn't really matter. Let me just get some blocks up for this to clear the area of snow. And uh then you then your your combination can be as big as you want. You can have a wall going right over there or just right to here. But for this tutorial purpose sorry I like using sticks uh, saws for counting things. One, two, three, four, five. I'm at mine six blocks long. Um and literally once you've built your wall, uh, as long as you leave a space between there you can put your levels all the way along. Let me just make one more. There you go. Um, and then, so once you've got this, this is how it will look from the outside to the person. And you probably have walls around here. At the moment, these don't do anything. None of these things do anything. But, and so, and so obviously, so you've got to wire them up. And now, you're going to want to make a one block high platform behind, well, a one by two block, there. One high, a one high block platform by two long platform behind all your levers and then put and then all the then the combination you're going to have put the levers down it's quite complicated this put the lever down so I'm gonna have this one this one and this one and behind those ones you've done put a redstone torch and you'll know if you got it right if you've put it in the right place because they'll automatically just turn off and after that just put the rest of the platform in the redstone so all in front all in front of the torches and all next to the torches and then after that put a redstone torch anywhere along this side here so I could have it here I could have it here I could have it here but I'm gonna put it here for now because you know easy easiness and then uh, jut out at least three pieces of dust redstone dust here and then comes a the complicated bit which really stumped me and I first did this by the way put a block there for your <coughs> thing so now to make the gate thing I don't know why it's called the gate <coughs> sorry about that um, build a one, a one one by three block high wall here and on the bit where the redstone dust is coming into it place a torch there and that should go up straight off which is what you want and then place another torch on the opposite end and my rains come back again sorry about that um, yeah, so so you want so you want, you want this one to be on, this one to be off, and then put a piece of redstone dust in the middle of that, and then and then put a redstone torch here, and that one should go off as well automatically, which is exactly what you want. If 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 that looks if this if yours look like this, if yours looks like this to you, you've done it all right. 
then link up your checker, which the bu the button is the checker, the check machine, you got it right. Because you, you, you don't really need a checker, really. Actually, no, wait. Yeah, actually, you do need a checker, even. Um, place redstone just behind that and just check if it works, because sometimes it doesn't work. Right? And then link that up to the checker. Link that up to this redstone torch here. The one that's on. And when you click the button, now, not because all the combinations are right, I should turn that torch on, turn this one off, and I'll just use a lever to do that so you can see it. Turns this one off and this one on. However, if I break this, that one goes off as you can see. So I'll just put the button back. So make sure this is, you can have it as a lever if you want, but the door will just stay open afterwards and yeah, that isn't really what you want. And then after that, all you can do is you can, well, you can, we, we, we can want to do this. You can wire the rest of the redstone up to the door. It's all going to run, by the way. Wire it up to your door. And most likely, it's going to run out of power by the time it gets to the door. So you're going to want to put a repeater somewhere in there. Probably about there, probably you should do. There you go. That'll for a good split second. That's why I'm supposed to put the checker here so you can go through and it closes behind you. Now, like I said earlier, you can have it as long as you want. Uh, and just, just to test that this actually works with the wrong combination, I will flick all mine up. Actually, no, I'll put all mine down and click the button. Nothing should happen because it doesn't. Nothing happens at all. And you can check that I haven't just destroyed it all and just edited this bin. I'm actually clicking the button and all the things, everything's still exactly how it was before. But if I was to flick these ones back up again, I think these are the ones I flicked up, I think. Like this, yeah, and that's it. And click, click the button again. Magically the door opens. As you can, I'll do it again so, you think, so I haven't just, you know, redone this. There you go. Perks perfectly. Well, I hope you found this helpful. Um, I've, never, I've never really made one of these on a server. However, I probably could, and I think that'd be pretty good if you made one. If you made one on a server, that'd be really good, because um, you know people would never come in your house again, again, pardon me, again, uh, unless they just broke the wall. Uh, the best thing to do would be either ask or go to the shop and buy some bedrock if if the shop in that on that server sells bedrock, or um, <coughs> or uh, or get some obsidian or buy some obsidian. Now. The rest of it you can probably just get yourself. Uh, the door could be mined down as well, obviously, because you can mine it with a thingy pickaxe, the iron pickaxe. But you could always have some sort of other thing. Where you could be waiting on the other side. Yeah, this hasn't. This isn't a very good thing to put on a server, to be honest. Oops, I forgot I was on creative. Um, this isn't a very good thing for a server, to be honest with you. But yeah, it's just it's just it's just something cool, isn't it? Really, you could put it on an adventure map as well. A lot of rest on things are good for adventure maps, I'd say. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it when you watch this, these videos. I uh, hope you found this helpful.